Looking for a fun and healthy dinner? Stay tuned. Hi there, my name is Katrina. Welcome to the Organics channel, where we are passionate about healthy living. We get together every week in the kitchen and create new and delicious recipes to support you in living your best life. Today, we're going to be making a goat cheese and spinach stuffed chicken. Let's begin by making our filling. Add two ounces of plain goat cheese to a mixing bowl. Next, add in two minced up garlic cloves. Stir together, ensuring that the garlic is mixed throughout the goat cheese. To your mixture, add in one cup of chopped up spinach leaves and one eighth of a cup of grass-fed Parmesan cheese. Stir everything together, coating the spinach really well. Now we are ready to prepare our chicken breasts. Using a sharp knife, place your hand on top of the chicken and then carefully make a slit about three quarters of the way through to the other side. This is going to make a pocket for our filling. Fill each chicken breast with half of the filling, spreading it out evenly. And now using toothpicks, seal the chicken to help hold in our goat cheese and spinach filling. Now for some spices. I have one teaspoon of smoked paprika, one quarter of a teaspoon of either pink Himalayan or sea salt, and about one eighth of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Mix these spices together and then sprinkle over both sides of your chicken breasts. Now we're ready to heat two tablespoons of olive oil in a cast iron or oven proof pan over medium heat until hot. Add in your seasoned chicken breasts, along with about one cup of sliced mushrooms. Cook the chicken for about five minutes or until lightly brown. Flip them over and then cook for another five minutes on the other side, stirring the mushrooms as needed. And now let's flip the chicken one last time and then put the pan into a 425 degree preheated oven. Cook until a meat thermometer reads 165 degrees when it is inserted into the thickest part of the chicken. This can be anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes. It really just depends on the thickness of your chicken and the oven temperature. It is time to give this stuffed chicken a taste. Just be sure to remove the toothpicks before you serve it up. So let's see. That has a wonderful flavor. Reminds me of delicious creamy spinach dip that you might eat sometimes. Mmm, so good. So one thing I might add is, you might wanna add in some more vegetables to the pan. I only added about three quarter of a cup of mushrooms, so feel free to add in as much as you like. Maybe add in some onions as well and let all of that roast up together with the chicken would be delicious. I hope you give this one a try. Thanks so much for joining me today. Hey, I hope you're well and happy and healthy. Be sure to join me next week in the kitchen for another delicious recipe, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.